Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Gris. This game is fantastic. Once again, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly at this point. I'm just going with it. It's Gris for me. Um, so, uh, let's jump back into this game. Last episode, I discovered the color blue. And it started raining, which in my mind represents the motion of sadness and... Um, I mean, if you were represented in any other way, you know, let me know, but, um, that's what I'm reading into it, since I am in a process at this point of really reading into what this game is offering. I just love the artwork. That is, no one can contest, that is just gorgeous artwork. They, they took a broken statue of a woman and, like, put so much detail into it. Like, I wish I had a mouse so I can just, like, circle areas, like, the hair, gorgeous the like lips and the nose and just the way it's like shaped the shoulder i think whoever you know this artist is that design you know drew and designed a lot of this work you know brilliant um and i i don't know it's probably multiple artists but at the end of the day i just i'm so impressed by the work um it's rare that you have such amazing artistry and such an i know devolver is not like exactly an indie platform any or indie developer anymore but Like, just like made me stop and take a breath. Wow. You cannot argue that that is not beautiful. Like, it's just. It's really breathtaking just the, the way they decided to do some of the things in this game. That, that captures me. That captures anyone getting to this point in the game. You can see the block there, but you can't see the block, but you can see the water washing over. That is just... I don't know. It's very unique. Okay. So there's some blocks above me. the violins already. Music changed again. I, I really don't always know the symbolic change in the music, like what it's there for. Usually ends up revealing itself soon, but... I do feel like I miss things and I'm just kind of like skipping over that that content down there, but well, maybe I'm not. Oh. Should I go back up there and see if I can get to it? Uh, I'm gonna have to do it just because I feel like I can hit that, that save point. Not that I really need a save point, but probably made that. Just that launch and the way she glides. Mm. Fantastic. Is the only purpose coming over? Oh! Clear block below there. Okay. So I hit that save point, or at least I'm pretty sure that's it. Oh, hey, little guys. Pretty sure I know your ancestors. Set of apples. A couple episodes ago. Mr. Squarington is what I believe I named him. He's a square. All the other ones weren't square for whatever reason. Wow, that water. It looks like Jello, does it not? Like, tell me it doesn't look like Jello. I love it. I think it's amazing. Definitely reminds me of Jello, though. Can I break this? No. Oh, I feel like. What is going on here? Oh, 
Oh, that is so satisfying in a way you would not understand unless you were playing it. Oh no, I missed! Come on! Oh, I had a good thing going. and swim than to do jump swimming. Okay, another symbol. I don't know what these mean, like, at all. Um, I wish I knew. I probably won't ever understand what those truly mean. Did I break that more? Is that my imagination? Yeah, it's definitely my imagination. All right. I don't know. It looked like I was making further cracks in it. Great, taking away my stuff again. Oh, I'm eventually going to make a pathway to the heavens, maybe? I don't know, that's what it looks like, doesn't it? With all those dots up there? Mm, kind of sad. I guess this is a representation of... It, it's gonna give me more dots, more more stars, I guess, is what I've been calling them. I don't know what that represents. Maybe that I've accomplished X amount of stars so far? Is this... So what I think it does is it brings you back to this labyrinth, this maze. Um, every time you accomplish something, and it changes this thing. So I imagine at some point, at the very top, you'll eventually accomplish, um, oh goodness, there's some there too, um, you'll eventually get it to where the stars lead to, like, you can climb up the stars, is my prediction. Um, I don't know if that's right by any means, I haven't watched any other gameplays where this is all just speculation, um, I'm just trying to piece together what maybe the, the values are of this game that I can anticipate seeing might happen based on current gameplay mechanics. <gasps> oh, come on. I thought I had that. I probably did have it. I probably just approached it with the wrong angle. Okay, let's do this one more time. Oh, come on, come on, come on. you got to be kidding. There's got to be something, I bet. I bet there's, um... Like another ability that makes it you maybe dash forward, like in a in a direction that would uh, accomplish what I was trying to do. But let's go this way. Let's just see what's this way. Oh, I have no idea if I'm going where I'm needing to go or not. It's probably a dead end. Ah, bummer. Okay, so that's not it. Maybe I do have to make it to the top. Maybe that's the only path forward. Oh, that's definitely not going to be it. Mm, too early. Got to wait, I hit the peak of mine. There. Go, 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 go. Ah, it's just not enough. So there's got to be something else, right? If that's it, then I'm just really bad at this game. Especially if I'm deciding to try to look elsewhere. I think I've already jumped off this direction, trying to see if there were a solution. Okay, so everything's underwater, so I can't go back that way. I feel like the only way you can go is up. Like, that's where it's leading. It's basically saying everything's underwater now. So your pathway in this, in this game, in this life, is going upwards. Unless there's something I'm not seeing. There always could be something I'm not seeing. Yet, at least. No. Okay. This was very early on, like one of the first couple episodes I saw this. Look at that turtle. I like that turtle. Anyways, um, 
I had seen this as an option. I wonder if I can swim at some point, like, down. You know what? You know what? I haven't tried. I haven't tried doing square form. Okay, doesn't work. Good to know. It only is a heavy block when the game wants it to be. Oh. This is ominous, like those are spider webs or something. Or some little creatures to keep me company. Ha! <laughs> As I say it. Wow. Hold it. Oh, these are like eels, maybe? Let's go down. Like I said, I'm a heavy cube square thing when it wants me to be. Otherwise, never. I like this music change. It feels very uh, techno-y a little bit. I would kind of love. I would kind of love it if it hit some techno spikes in this. Oh, that is gorgeous. Am I underwater right now, or is that just the line? I don't know. Oh, so pretty. beautiful, the lighting's beautiful, gives you just enough of like kind of everything you can really enjoy it. I bet you go up there and then you do a big jump downwards. Oh. So water in this game has a gravity that doesn't exist in physics. Um, I like it. Somewhat confusing. Um, it's just contrast of dark and light in this game. It's amazing. Oh, see that? The butterflies. I'm not even doing anything. I'm just jumping straight up. And the butterflies hover you. That is. I don't think I ever noticed that early on. Um, I always thought just, you know, I automatically had done the double jump. I just assumed the double jump was doing the hover, but it actually was the, um, butterflies themselves do uh, their own hover. Oh, that's so pretty. Like, mother tree over here. Can I do anything with this tree? Because I want to. Like, I really do. I feel like me and this tree are kindred spirits. game just gorgeous all over so there's as you can see there's a little water pocket above me oh something new and it's amazing oh i love it so much What I was supposed to do, I have no idea. What is this stuff? Oh, how pretty. What is this? Can I break it? No. It seems like some kind of, like, I'm gonna call it moon dust. Moon crystal. It makes kind of like crystal noise. Oh, I scared a bunch of birds.
Ah, butterflies. I missed them. Oh, gotta break it. Butterflies free. Jump up. Okay. So you do have to get a, a bit of a running jump start to be able to get enough um, gravity momentum to be able to descend through some of the game. How cool. All the music stopped and everything. That is... That means a new power. So I gotta find the stars that are around here. Oh! Oh! What are you? I created a... an image of myself? This one does have mass compared to the last one, so you can't stand on it. Mm, very frustrating. Okay, so something's happening with these crystals. It's like freezing me, but they don't have enough mass for me to actually utilize like standing on it, um, which I find just very annoying. There's got to be a way to use it, I think, maybe. If I had utilized... Okay, this one has the same thing. Alright, I'm not understanding the purpose of the freezing. Oh, you know what it is? I'm dumb. <laughs> what it is. You gotta be a block to be able to assist yourself. Oh no. I like accidentally discovered the option. exactly how to do this. Oh crap. A block there. Can I land on this? There we go. Wow, these puzzles are fantastic. They're so difficult. They're not easy at all. Um, they make you really think about what you want to accomplish. I would imagine this game honestly couldn't be for younger children because of um, the abstract thinking involved and the lack of uh, providing of instruction. I would even imagine it probably anyone under the age of like, I don't know, 15 who isn't used to playing video games would have a hard time with this concept of um, having to do this abstract thinking and, and problem solving. Like, even me, I struggled to figure out that, like, turn into a block and... Well, I don't know what to do for this one.
You know what I bet it is? I gotta freeze in midair. No? Definitely wasn't it. have any easy correlatable ways to solve can I do so Butterflies anywhere that I can solve this with. Hmm. Well, this is quiet. Um the puzzle. Not seeing an easy way to discover how to get out of there. And I'm pretty sure we need two. sense for it to me to do something here huh so there's something I'm missing in this other area maybe being in square form allows some other behavior I'm not aware of doesn't look like this center area provides me anything other than another ability I currently don't possess Ah, figured it out right there, didn't I? By accident. So, he's right there. He's right there. Boy. There we go. Wow, that puzzle, you know, it's one of those things that I completely accidentally discovered because I was not making the connection myself to do so. So what do I, what can I do now with this? Oh, I'm a fish now. <laughs> I have a fish form. How cool. Ah, oh, that's so cool. Okay gonna stop it there this was really great i loved this episode um the puzzles felt significantly harder than they've felt in previous um episodes as far as just trying to discover 
how to accomplish and complete them. Um, overall, I want to say that this game has continued to surprise me and lead me on a fascinating and amazing adventure. Um, actually, let's follow it down this rabbit hole just real quick. Wow, okay. Uh, where am I going? I gotta see where this rabbit hole leads real quick. Oh my goodness. How cool. Obviously, I only have two of those eight that it expects me to find. Oh my goodness. Oh, I, I, I can't keep going. Otherwise, this is gonna be like an hour long video of me like exploring this. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop here. Um, I don't see a save point. I'm pretty sure it saved when I got the last ability. So this next episode may be a little bit of repeat getting back down here, but um, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Hopefully you're loving this game as much as I am and really enjoying the, just this exploration experience and, and enjoyment, beauty, color, life, everything. Anyways, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, there will be options here on your screen for other things. Um, hopefully you'll like, subscribe, and continue to view uh, my other content on this channel, and I hope you have a great day.